Welcome to Discussing Dad Life, where we break down bullshit so you don't have to. I'm Void, this is No, and let's go. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Wall Spring Wednesdays. You thought I was going to do that cadence, didn't you? What cadence? The one that you told me you didn't like. Yeah. Okay, I am joined today by the lovely... Beatboxing new. There we go. <laughs> so today's topic is actually Moo's recommendation. So I'm going to let her do the introduction. Thank you, Father. Um, so, um, me and my dad, I'm going to tell them the entire backstory on this, okay, of me thinking this. So, me and my dad, we were talking about when, I, when I'm allowed to start dating. 73. No, <laughs> we, that is not what we, um, said. We said over 15, or 15 exact. No, that's not exactly what we talked about. Yeah, that is. Yes, it is. Probably not going to start dating until I'm like 17, though. Okay. So the question, pose the question that you want to so talk about. Go, shush, shush, shush. So the question is, is it good to talk, is it good to date under 15? And we're going to both give, be giving our opinions. You get to go start? first. You get to go first. Okay. I'm thinking. Okay. So my personal thought is if you're going to be dating under the age of 18, they should be chaperoned. That's my I personal said, thought. I said under the age of 15. Is under the age of 18, under the age of 15 as well? Yeah, but... No one Into the mic. Into the mic. <laughs> yeah, but still. We, our topic is on 15, 15 okay. and over. And I, I said 18 and younger should be chaperoned. You're not chaperoning me on my first date. Then you won't have a first date until you're 18. <laughs> like, no. I don't have to be the one chaperoning. Your your mom Mom's do it. not. Your mom's boyfriend? Nope. My girlfriend? No. Any one of us no. <laughs> is going to be able to go and take you to where your date's going to be. Okay, and that's hang okay. And, and all they're going to do is just hang out until the date's over. That's all That's all chaperoning is. Why don't you just, like, drop me off, drive away, and then come pick me up? If you were dating someone, let's say, th like, it was your fifth date, then that... <gasps> If it was your fifth time going on a date with this individual, individual, then obviously that would happen. But if you're going on a first date, my estimation is chaperoning. <laughs> Just to make sure everything you're gonna is going You're going to embarrass right. me. That's fine. No, it's not. They were... I'm not going to. Chaperoning doesn't fine, mean here. involvement. You could be in the place we are just like really far away. Exactly. That's what chaperoning is. And hiding is. your face. That is what chaperoning is. So you're technically spying on me. No, it's just being in the area. So if you need anything, we're right there. Mm, it's fine. Okay. okay. So what is your thoughts then? No. <laughs> under 15, no. Under 15, no what? No dating? dating. No dating. Don't date under 15. I was... Not actually expecting that. Do not date under 15. You know how much that could, like, suck? Like, I get it if you're, like, if you're, like, under six. Like, if you're under six, it's not, like, dating, dating. Like, I, 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 I wouldn't say I was dating someone, but um, when I was, like, you're talking six, like your brother's age, or are you talking sixteen? Six, like brother's age. Th th they're like too that's young to, that's like that's, th they're that's, too young to even understand what that is. Exactly, so it's not dating. Yeah, but, but like like when you're over hitting, six and under fifteen, like in that area, like seven, like six and higher, and fifteen and lower. No, that's between th six and fifteen, you shouldn't be dating. No. Okay. 
Because when you're under six, you don't even know what it is. Like, I didn't know what it was. I no. didn't even know I you, was you, People really don't. someone. It's usually about 9, 10, 11, you start getting interested in other people like that. Yeah. Um, but going on a date between, like, 11 and 15? That's, that, no. It's more or less just going out with a friend. Yeah. Because you don't like you still like don't fully friend, understand it. Or like a father and daughter day or like a mom and daughter day. Like I had that um Friday after volleyball mm-hmm. with mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong well, with that. But like if you're going on a date date with someone who you like, no. Under 15 and over 6 just no. And under six, don't go, go, don't go with someone on a date. Okay. It's just weird. Yeah. Yeah. That's my thoughts. There you go. Interesting. This one was really short. Do you have another topic that you want to tie into this, or? Is it? This is gonna go along with me, okay? Okay. Is it okay to babysit under thirteen? I. It depends on the maturity of the child, right? Mm-hmm. So, okay, here, wait. Under sixteen, I mean under, under thirteen, but over six. Well, children, in my estimation, shouldn't start being left alone until they're about nine ish, ten ish, because at that point they they can start being a lot more self reliant for longer periods of the time. Am I getting, since I'm getting older and I'm past the age of, let's say, eight, am mm-hmm. I getting more, like, helping run the house and, like, more mature so, and, like, being able to be on my own more? Yes. I'm a good kid. But that's all I can say. So. I'm a good kid. Like, I was doing the dishes last night. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You, I did you, them, like, five times. I, she had this weird inkling just to start doing dishes yesterday <laughs> for, and she just kept doing them. And I was like, I'm not going to say anything. Like, um, thanks for helping me out. We were redoing <laughs> my room today and yesterday. And when I got done with the dishes yesterday, um, I made lunch. And then I did the dishes again after lunch. Yep. And then. Then we made dinner. And then after dinner. I did those dishes. Yeah, you did those, even though I wanted to do them. Yeah. But you did them. I got yelled at for doing the dishes. (laughs) It's the first time in my life I've ever been yelled at for doing dishes. (laughs) Strangest feeling. (laughs) Just saying. I'm throwing it out there. Stop. Stop. It's not that strange. It was very strange. It was super strange. I didn't yell at you. It was a flow-blown yell. (laughs) <laughs> I did not do that. <laughs> That's not me. Uh, I mean, that was someone else you were talking about. No. So moving back to your question. Um, <laughs> we got really off track. <laughs> I think babysitting can start happening if the child is mature at 10 years old. I think that's a decent age to start looking at it. Some might hit it 11, some might 12, some might 13. Mama started babysitting when she was like in college, and yeah. she earned actually a lot of money yeah. doing it. You can you can make some money make uh, doing babysitting, especially. That's why I wanted to rearrange my room so that I could like, kind of like child proof it. Kind of. Kind of because how my room was, it was like, it was just like weird. Yeah. And it, it could have hurt them a lot. Just FYI. We spent about four hours this morning no, rearranging and no, taking. Didn't. Yes, we did. We no, started. We, didn't. we started about eight fifteen, <laughs> eight no, twenty. And yes, we did. No, we did not. We did, but still, <laughs> we did not. Yeah. We did not spend that long on my room. Fair. We did, but it's fine. It's fine. It's for the children. It's for children. For me. So. Okay. <laughs> any other topics? To give my opinion. Okay. Let's go. Yes. Yes what? Yes. I agree. You agree what? 
You, um, un, babysitting under 13 is okay. As long as the child is mature. As long as <laughs> Right, because there are some immature okay. over nine and under 13, just overall under nine, over nine is okay. As long as they're not, as long as they're not. I would also throw a caveat in this. If the child's under about 15, 16, I would recommend that a parent uh, be there as well. Like, like let's say you start babysitting, like having me or her in the house. Yeah, so if I something w- happens. You guys would be there, but like. You would I be the one responsible. I'd be the one responsible. Yes. And like, I'd, I'd make them food to eat. I'd get, I'd get them things and you'd just be there. But I would yeah. keep my eye on them. Like, yeah. that's what my entire plan was in the beginning. Not yeah. for you to leave for, like, five hours. No. No. And you've already gotten great practice because you do already do this with your little brother. Yeah. I do it at mom's house. I do it at your house. And I've also watched kids before. Yeah. On, like, my second cousin mm-hmm. with my cousin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. And my cousin with my with myself and I instead of did that make any sense <laughs> <laughs> let me know if that made sense because I didn't make any sense to me you know what I mean you know what I mean I didn't that's why I'm asking no you know what I meant <laughs> you you know you know mm. you're smart you can figure it out okay. you'll figure it out you'll figure it out by yourself okay mm-hmm. anything else wanting to move on uh, new topic <laughs> ending it New topic. You What's get to it? choose this one. What topic? You got to choose it. Oh. I ran out. You ran out of topics. I ran out of topics. I need to think of ten more. Ten more topics? Yeah. Oh. For other videos. Um, I don't have short. a topic for this one because I, I thought these were uh, pretty oh, good Oh, is Star Wars for... good? Yes, Star Wars is good. Star Wars yeah. is awful. <laughs> Whatever. Star Wars sucks. The only thing I like about Star Wars is Baby Yoda. Those is fighting words. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> would you Would you not want to be my dad if I said that? No, because I'm going to be your dad regardless. <laughs> you don't have to like the same things I like. But they do not suck. Now, Act- the, uh, you guys, on, you guys give all of your opinions for all of those. There's, and all the rest of them. There is a caveat. Because when Disney, Disney took, Plus, he always goes on about this. Disney, Disney Plus ruined Star Wars. Disney ruined Star Wars. Yes. When when George Lucas sold the rights to Disney, Disney made Star Wars better. No. Yes. No. Yeah. The only thing, so the main movies horrible. Yeah. But like the offshoots, like The Mandalorian, great, great storyline. Boba a- Fett, great storyline. Uh- Ahsoka, great storyline. But when it comes to the main movies, they destroyed it. Mm-mm. Obi-Wan, that, that's the only series that I would not say they improved upon. They screwed that up horribly. You're being horribly. so mean to Disney. I'm not a fan of Disney. That's what Twilight's on. I don't like Twilight. Wow. You're not my dad then. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. I guess I just lost the daughter. <laughs> I'm your only daughter. I know. I lost it. I don't have a daughter anymore. I guess yeah, I have only two have sons have only. Yep. Just two sons. Yep. Yeah, yeah yep. it is what it is. No more me. I'm just, I'm mm-hmm. a niece. She she just disappeared. She's not even there. I don't even I don't even know who's talking right now. I really don't. See? There's no one there. <laughs> 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 I went behind the little DDO thingy. Yeah. You can just see it all. Yeah. Fair. Okay. Well, give a shout out to our sponsor. Who's sponsoring us? Candle Time. Yeah. Where can they find it? Stop making me recite this. Buycandletime.net. There you go. Check it out. We got four scents available. They're all made by the lovely Moo. And they all smell delicious. Her favorite's peach. Mine's coconut. Lakeshore and sea breeze. Definitely great uh, scents. I can't um, remember which one it is. I think it's Lakeshore, but these, but Lakeshore smells like men's cologne. Lakeshore does smell like a man's cologne. Yep. 
So, okay. Peace it out. Thank you for watching. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Till then, peace. peace.